What is up guys, Jeremy here and welcome back to another jailbreak update video. I am back to my desk now, so this will be a more formal <laughs> update video for you guys. Um, aside from being in my car and updating you guys from there, I know that was kind of crazy, but 14.4.2 uh, did come out while I was on the road and I wanted to quickly push out a video advising you guys not to update to it. Uh, but I want to go a little bit more in depth with this video since I'm back at my desk and I can use my normal camera and mic and everything and better explain the update for you guys so you know what's going on in the world of jailbreaking. But anyways, like I like to mention in all of these videos, if you guys are watching this in the future, be sure to check out my uh, jailbreak updates playlist. The link is in the description. This video might be outdated by the time you guys are watching it. And the best way to know is to check out my playlist. Like I said, I keep all of the newest jailbreak update videos in that playlist. And as soon as there's any news with jailbreaks, I do cover it. So keep that in mind. But we're going to talk quickly about 14.4.2. Um, this is the security content of the update. This is basically what it patches. It's a WebKit patch. Um, impact processing malicious crafted web content may lead to universal cross uh, site scripting. Apple is aware of a report that this issue may have been actively exploited. So uh, this isn't really anything that can be used for a jailbreak. So this is, you know, this is a bug that cannot be used, at least as far as my knowledge goes. Uh, and I do not claim to be any kind of iOS security expert by any means. Uh, but to me, this just doesn't seem like something that could be implemented in a jailbreak. So I don't think that this is something that's going to be used in a jailbreak, let's say for 14.4 or even 14.4.1. Uh, so even though it can't be used, I still advise to not update. Like I said, the rule of thumb when you're waiting for a jailbreak is to always stay at the lowest firmware possible. Now, if you guys are watching this in the future and you're already on this version of iOS, I think you might be okay still. Like I said, just stay as low as possible is your best bet. Um, as I've mentioned in previous jailbreak update videos, um, Modern Poner, the one that released the exploit that was used in the Uncovered Jailbreak for 14.0 through 14.3, has a PAC bypass um, that could be used um, for 14.5 and lower. And I don't know if that means exactly if 14.5 is going to patch it and it would be on 14.4, 14.4.1 and 14.4.2. Um, all I know is that he has it on his GitHub and it mentions it, um, he mentions it at the very bottom. Like I said, I've covered that previously. So I think that um, a good jailbreakable version going off of uh, speculation really is going to be 14.4, 14.4.1 and possibly 14.4.2. Um, so we might see a jailbreak for that um, with that PAC bypass. And like I said, I'm just completely speculating, trying to give you guys my best educated guess. But like I said, rule of thumb, stay as low as possible. You can do this by going into settings, go to general, go to software update and turn off automatic updates and turn off automatic downloads. Turn all of that off and then your device will not update. Um, nowadays, you, <clears throat> you need to plan for your jailbreak and by planning, you need to not update. Now to talk about the current jailbreaks to get that out of the way so you guys know what the current jailbreaks are. Um, so from the information that I have gathered, CheckRain does work on 14.4.2 for iPhone 10 and older. So it's going to be the iPhone 10, the 8, the 8 plus, the 7, the 7 plus, etc. Uh, anything that's iPhone 10 and older, you can jailbreak with the CheckRain jailbreak uh, up to 14.4.2. It does work. Now for the newer devices, that would be the 10s, the 10s Max, the 10R, the 11s, and the 12s. Basically, any device that's newer than the iPhone 10, um, you can only currently jailbreak uh, with Uncover on 14.0 through 14.3. That's all it supports right now in terms of uh, for iOS 14. If you guys are seeing any other tutorials, on YouTube, those are scam tubers that are trying to make money off of you and waste your time. Uh, Uncover only updates or uh, Uncover only works for 14.0 through 14.3, like I said. Um, 
anything else is fake and it's as of the making of this video. Like I said, you guys might be watching this in the future and uh, to, th the best way to know is to check out my jailbreak updates playlist. If this video's at the very top, then it's accurate. If it's an older video, then it's probably not accurate and you guys might want to check out the, the newer videos. I have it in uh, basically in, in order of release date. So it goes off of dates. Whatever's at the very top of that playlist is the newest, most up-to-date jailbreak information. And like I said, uh, as soon as a jailbreak comes out, I cover it. I, I show you guys how to do all the jailbreaks and what's all of the news that surrounds a jailbreak. So that playlist is very powerful. So those are the uh, active jailbreaks for iOS 14. Um, and that's my opinion on 14.4.2. Now I do quickly want to talk about timing because this is a huge question from people is when when to expect another iOS 14 jailbreak. And uh, this is going to be completely speculation. I am just giving you my educated guess on when it could be. Um, so this the, there's no, I, I don't have any contact with, with jailbreak developers or people that create the jailbreaks. There's never ever an ETA from them. The jailbreaks literally just release and it's, you know, it just comes out on its own. Nobody ever knows when they're coming out. So this is completely speculation. But I think that we will possibly see a 14.4, a 14.4.1, or a 14.4.2 jailbreak. And uh, when we see this, I think it's going to be possibly on the release of iOS 14.5. Now, the reason why I say this. Uh, is because Modern Poner, the one that released the, the exploit that we used in the uncovered jailbreak for 14.0 through 14.3, has a bug that affects um, all devices up to 14.5. So if Apple patches this PAC bypass in 14.5, I have a feeling he might release it. And if he does, it could be used to update the uncovered jailbreak to support iOS 14.0 all the way up to 14.4.2. And like I said, this is just completely speculation, um, but I, that's what I think would happen if, if he does release it. Um, if it's not patched in 14.5, maybe let's say it's patched in 14.6 or something like that, uh, then, then that exploit would be used for all previous versions of iOS. So that would be 14.0 through 14.5, for example. So uh, basically, these exploits get released and they support older unsigned firmware from Apple. So that's why I stress with you guys to um, to not update your device to stay on the lowest firmware possible. As far as timing, like how long would it be after 14.5 comes out? Um, it's hard to say. Um, usually once the versions that were affected by the bug, once they're unsigned is when we could see the the exploit released. And then from there, uh, it's usually like just a couple of weeks and Uncover would be updated by um, Pona Own. It's usually a couple of weeks after the exploit is released, we see the, the jailbreak uh, updated for it. So let's just say two weeks to a month um, in between that. So um, I'm gonna make a date up for you guys. I'm gonna make this completely up. Don't hold me to it. <laughs> this is just completely made up. But let's say iOS 14.5 is released on April 15th. Um, and the exploit is released, I would say the jailbreak could be updated two weeks to a month after that. So, you know, maybe like um, early May to mid-May, we would see Uncover updated if it is released when uh, Apple patches the firmware. But like I said, that's just to give you guys an idea of how jailbreaks work in 2021. But anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this jailbreak update. If you did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot here at the channel. And again, like I said, check out the jailbreak uh, updates playlist in the description to make sure you guys are fully up to date. And I will catch you guys in the next one later.